MTG. Um, I believe she is vying to become one of the most prolific fictional writers of our time. And she is putting up installment after installment um, so that she perhaps gets the crown. Uh, her latest installment, she's pushing lies about abortion again. Here's the post on X. I mean, she, it, some people you don't know who's writing their social media posts. I know she wrote this, okay? March 2022, pro life activists tragically discovered the remains of aborted babies being discarded from the Planned Parenthood in Washington, D.C. Five of the babies were second and third trimester premature infants who appeared to have been born alive and then murdered. That is a hell of a charge. This image, which I didn't include, some of the 110 first trimester children killed. This Tuesday, I'm holding a hearing on investigating the black market baby organ harvesting. Okay. As I was reading that, I don't know why, but it was full of so many lies that I kept thinking after each sentence, I was going to get zapped. You know what I mean? I felt like I could hear it. I'm just quoting what MTG posted. Other people, they checked her though. Several commenters on X called out the far right congresswoman for sensationalist fiction, lying and fear mongering, no recognition of truth in her post. Um, Huffington Post chronicling the outrage here. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. Let's just take you through some of them. I won't read it all, but I'll take you through what people are posting about Marjorie Taylor Greene's latest efforts. Basically, they're saying you're just a liar, shut up and sit down, okay? There, I just, it, we, we, there it is. People instantly pounced, they brought receipts and said, you know, are you for real? Really? It's very easy to debunk this stuff. Um, you have no recognition of truth in your post. The fetuses did not come from Planned Parenthood. They came from a medical waste facility. The medical waste facility said, we didn't hand over anything. We didn't do this. Okay, you see, they go through it line by line. Some of them were longer than that. Okay, evidence based pushback. Uh, we should tell you a little background. Abortion opponent Lauren Handy was found to possess five aborted fetuses in her apartment when police arrived in 2022, the day after she was charged with blockading a Washington, D.C. abortion clinic two years prior. She and others were convicted in August 2023. Now, she and fellow activist Teresa Bukanovic claim the five were among 115 fetuses given to them by the driver of a medical waste truck. This is what I'm talking about. They claim they buried 110 of them with a priest present at an undisclosed location, but kept the remaining five to prove that illegal procedures were used to abort them. Police, however, determined the abortions were legally conducted and the waste truck company, again, they denied Handy's account. As for Green's investigation into the so-called black market of baby organ harvesting, Democrats on the Oversight and Accountability Committee have pushed back against such unproven allegations in a pair of videos. They were refuting the specific claims against Planned Parenthood. It is a full-time job to push so many lies. What happened to just agreeing to disagree, being on opposite ends of an issue, making your points based on truth? You don't believe in abortion, don't get one, okay? You don't wanna support it, okay? The lies though, is she on pace? As I said at the top, Jackson, to become our most prolific fictional writer ever. Perhaps definitely one of the top five, she's definitely up there. She may have some competition, but she's uh, she's quickly risen in the ranks. So maybe she definitely has the record there. But first I gotta say, I mean, have with five fetuses, that's really creepy and weird. Like that's what some yeah. type of shrine or something like some type of weird re ritualistic shrine. I don't know, but you know, go figure that she was a super opponent of it. And I can't speak for MTG and I, I don't know her medical history, but I would be somewhat surprised if she's never gotten an abortion. And the only reason I say that is because she's sexually active. You know, like it is it, that that tends to happen. You know, I don't know exactly what the percentage is, but like it's 
kind of common that women may have gotten one abortion throughout their lives because, you know, when people have sex, people get pregnant sometimes. So and the, the endless irony of uh, people who are very against abortion, if they get pregnant now, you know, a lot of people will actually have the baby. You know, there are people who don't believe in it, but they aren't necessarily on the front lines trying to take it away from everybody else. Mm-hmm. You know, so if they get an abortion, then, well, it's because I wasn't ready. But those other people, you know, those black women and the Latinas and whatever else, they just use abortion as birth control. You know, they don't even care. And that's yeah. kind of how they they see it. So that's how they separate themselves and rationalize their own BS. Yeah, women get mm-hmm. abortions for uh, many, they're valid reasons, family planning, rape, okay? Um, just yeah. not wanting to become a mother. Marjorie Taylor Greene, you commented on her sexual prowess. I don't know. And I I don't want you to paint that picture again. Uh, mm-hmm. Because it's I, I don't want, I just don't do it. You understand? Um, I got you. And I, I don't know. I don't want to comment on whether she did or she didn't. I want her to stay out of other people's reproductive rights. That's what I would ask yeah. her to do. And, you know. I'll ask it, but she's not. She's going to continue to write her. The only reason she's not going to be the most prolific fictional writer of our time is because of the word count. Big print, short stories. Okay. So that's going to get her out of the running. But the fiction part, she has down pat. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.